Mantras are the specific sound vibrations which is when chanted by somebody provides the specific results. If you have to understand mantras, you have to understand the whole creation. Creation takes place when the feminine and masculine energies meet. Any creation in the universe is always starting with the meeting of feminine and masculine energies. Human being can basically make about 51 types of sound vibrations and in the languages we call them alphabets. In the alphabets also there are two types of alphabets. One type is consonants and another type are the vowels. Consonants are the masculine energy and vowels are the feminine energy. Look, you try to make a word by combining only consonants, probably you can make, but it is not possible to make a complete meaningful sentence without using vowels with consonants. So the creation of words, the creation of meaningful words and sentences also comes in any language by combining the masculine consonants with feminine vowels. All the mantras which God created has got the same principle. The energy, the seed is a consonant, let's say ha, let's say ra. Ha indicates for the universe, for the sky. Ra indicates for the tej present in it, energy present in it. And when we combine this ha and ra with e, mm, it forms the mantra. And then this becomes the mantra ring. And the moment it becomes the mantra, energy gets automatically created. So mantras are those sound vibrations which creates energy in the universe for you. And yes, nothing works without energy. Energy is Basically, we define are of three types, then they can be subdefined and divided into several types. But basically, we have three energies in the universe wisdom, prosperity, and physical power. Every energy has a mantra. If we want to feel the energy in our chakras, in ourselves, in our 8.4 million spaces the human body has, we must combine the masculine consonants with feminine vowel form a mantra and chant it, uh, 
by chanting these mantras a kind of energy gets created in us and that energy we must store in our chakras it is available with us in form of the aura in form of the intuitions in form of a specific work you want to do and therefore mantras are very useful in the human life the purpose of life is to to attain the completeness and what is the struggle why are we not able to attain the completeness is because of our unfulfilled desire you can leave the desire if you are able to and if you are not able to leave the desire make an effort to complete it mantras help you in your effort to complete and fulfill your desire for every desire there is a specific mantra there are several mantras available in the scriptures and they have got the capacity to change your energy in the universe you must choose one with the guidance of your guru take it chant it work on it and complete your desires and when you reach to the desireless state automatically you attain completeness thank you